Okay, so, right, I've lifted the machine, I've tilted it up, okay, and how, down here, you've got the oil pan, all right? Um, these, these little uh, wick things will soak the oil up as well. Um, so, we've got a low mark and a high mark. Um, I've got a fresh can of oil here, and we're going to pour whatever, however much we need in here for it to reach the high point, okay? Once it gets below the low point, then it's time to refill again. Right, let's just open this a minute. Okay. Right, let's pour this in. Make sure everything's as it should be. Well, that's what it says, just pour it in here. So here we go. Feels strange pouring oil into, instead of pouring your oil into your usual um, Well, there's not quite enough oil in there to fill up to the high point, but I'm sure that's fine. Okay. Right, so that's that done. The oil is approximately, well, it's just over halfway between the low and the high. So, right, and then we'll pop this back down. Okay. There, there we go. This is absolutely lovely. I love this machine. Look at that look. How quick is that? Just turn that around. Let's go back this way again, shall we? Look at that, look. It's 5,000 um, stitches per minute. Up to. Go slow, just touch the thing slowly. It's got a big foot pedal on the bottom here. I'll show you that in a minute. And um, it's got a knee lift here where you can you use your knee to do all your bits and pieces. Um, and how quiet is it? Listen to that. It's to go fast. And this machine sews light fabric. Let's get a piece of, um, let's get a piece of, just, I'll just lift the needle off a minute. I, I have got to get used to using this because it, it also cuts the thread. It, um, it does different things, so I need to get used to it. Um, right, let's have a look. What shall, what fabric can we use? Right, I've got these different fabrics here. <coughs> uh, let's cut a piece of this off. And um, okay, let's cut a piece of this foil stuff. This is like um, tool. It's uh, just tool, tool, tool. Here we have some tool. Okay, let's fold it in half and Okay, so we have a different range of fabrics here. All right, now I'm just gonna cut that off of there a minute. Have some of this uh, tool stuff, okay? So I'm just going to fold this in half just to sew it together um, and see what it does. Just, just show you that this machine, I love it. It's brilliant. Right, I'll just pop that down. Okay. So quiet. Okay. See how quick it is as well. That is amazing. 
wow i love it and that is foil okay well tool whatever you want to call it all right let's just cut that off look at that i don't know if you can see that but there's no pulling or stretching on any of that and i've got my stitching set at uh number two and a half so that's pretty good um so that's that fabric now let's try some of this fabric uh i had so this this isn't that e the easiest to um sew so i'm not going to waste too much of this so what i'll do is i'll just cut a strip off just to practice on Cutting is not very straight, but never mind, as you can see. Right, okay. Let's just see how this fares on here. Look at that. Brilliant. go not bad I had so much trouble trying to um, sew this material on my other machine right I'm gonna try some of this now I've never tried this stuff okay um, this is another like a satiny fabric so we'll just uh, tell you what we do we'll just do one Pretty good. Look at that. Let's do the stitches a little bit bigger. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just go back again. I'm really happy with it. I think it's a, an excellent piece of machinery. Um, and although this is not your average sewing machine, okay, these industrial sewing machines only really do one thing only. They don't, it's not like my other machine where you can do zigzag, you can do this, that, and the other stitch. It's just not like that. Um, you buy these industrial sewing machines simply for the one thing that they do. So I want this for straight stitching of heavy materials such as leather um, and bag material and also for light materials uh, like foil and um, satin. So this machine here is ideal for that. Um, it's quiet, it's, uh, it's switched on, you cannot hear any motors running, it's not that type of machine, so it only runs when you basically put your foot down on the pedal, and it's smooth, quick, really quick, um, and I think it's brilliant, and also you've got a, wind, a bobbin winder here, which basically, I mean that one's full now, but once you change that over to another one, whilst you're sewing, you can put another bobbin on there and it will automatically wind another bobbin whilst you're sewing as well. So all in all, it's made by, it, well, it's actually made by the same company that makes Juki and Brother um, over in China. And basically Taiso is the company that they have put their own name on. Uh, they're based in the UK. Um, and basically, like I say, it's exactly the same as a Juki. Um, and this is a lock stitch, uh, straight stitching machine. Um, and I cannot fault it at all. It's brilliant. I really like it. Uh, I will do a couple of videos on how to use this machine um, and see how it goes. I'm really looking forward to creating what I have been creating, which I'm going to show you now. So I've been creating things like this here. And I wanted a different machine, more industrial, 
for this. It's all straight stitching, okay? So I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, and once you get into doing these side bits here, um, my standard machine started to struggle a little bit, not much, but this machine will go through it like hot, uh, like a hot knife through butter, so to speak. So I'm really looking forward to making some more of these. Uh, and I should pop these on my Etsy shop as well. But they are lovely, um, lovely little purses, look. Great. Anyway, right, that's it for today. It's just a quick one, really. And um, before I go, I'll show you how I've arranged my room now. Um, I have basically put a shelf over here. And I put all my threads in there. So there is my embroidery machine. Um, I've kept the computer and everything over there. Uh, and my machine, my industrial machine now is in this corner. I'm going to get some shelving put up there. And maybe put some threads up there or something. Um, I have put that cupboard there. Um, and this is this has got to be sorted out a bit more. Um, it's not actually a mess. It's just that I've got a few things here, there and everywhere. Um, I've bought some new fabrics. These are my personal fabrics, which I've bought from a um, local shop, local to Cornwall. Um, and I'm going to make some bags out of these. So we've got some nice owl fabric we've got some rose but actually that i already had that um we've got some of that some of that and some roses and that and that and so, and so on and so on so i'm looking forward to making these bags with that uh i've got some fabric cut out there ready to make my next bag this one's going to be a collie bag a collie dog so that's going to look quite nice um, and there's my other machine. This machine here will come in handy for smaller jobs um, and anything else that I might want to do uh, using different stitching and so on. I think that's it. I think that's all I needed to show you for today. Um, but overall, I am really, 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 really pleased with this machine. I love it. Absolutely love it. And it was a pain to get in the house. Um, it started to pour with rain once the delivery guy came and uh he wasn't going to help shift it so we had to try it was already done like this already put together so we had to um take it off the pallet and take this head off um but we we struggled first we put, brought it into the house first before we took because we didn't want to get it wet um and then we just basically brought it all up the stairs um and it's here now so that's one job done um Right, I will put the link uh, for this machine down in the description below for those of you that do live in the UK. Now, this is pretty well priced, okay? Um, you're looking at about, well, anything between 650 um, and over a £1,000 for something like this. Um, but have a look on the website and see what you think. Um, it's solid and you've get, you get all this with it, okay? You've got your knee press there that helps with lifting your your uh, foot and everything, and you've got your you know your foot press there, which is really easy to use. Basically, you've only got to pop your foot gently on it, and it will slow the machine right down. Whereas my other machine, it was a dodgy foot pedal, um, you know. So right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave you with that. I hope you enjoyed having a look at my new contraption um, and for those of you out there that are thinking of getting one I would definitely highly recommend it okay right I'm gonna go thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and I will see you again soon and uh, I think that's it have a good day good evening good morning good whatever wherever you are in the world bye bye for now